Good morning YouTube. Welcome to Mark Jordan RC Geek on another unboxing. Surprise, surprise. Uh, as you can see this is exactly what's written on the box. This is going to be for an axial. Uh, my first axial. Uh, I did go into crawling slightly when I had a Traxxas Summit. The only thing with the Summit was too big and constantly having to lug it around and this that and the other. Uh, so I thought I sold the Traxxas uh, summit and decided to buy something smaller uh, and I know you're all thinking out there well the new SX10 uh, is just about to be released by Axel uh, but I couldn't wait so hence this is why I went with this and plus the the new SCX10 comes in kit form whereas I wanted it ready to run so hence I went for uh, an RTR Axial so as you can see uh, forgive me for this because I don't know much about Axel uh, this is the first one that I've bought, so just have to bear with me on this one and I'll try and go through it. I'm not going to go through the details of it or anything because as yet I don't know, as I said, anything about Axial really. Just that I wanted a 110 scale crawler and this seemed to be the one which ticked all the boxes for me. So I'm not going to go through any, can you guess what it is, this, that and the other because it is written all over the box. So. Uh, and there's no giveaway on the side on the side either, where they give you a list of everything that Axial do. Uh, so you can probably tell by the size what it is. Right, enough of that malarkey. I'm just going to try and make this as quick as possible. So that is yet again. This is came from Model Sport on there. They're a great company. Uh, and yet again I get everything uh, x fat in Jersey so it worked out to be how much was it 234 quid which is not bad so here we go dun, 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 dun. like so okay Aha. there you go this has been sat in my utility room for a week and I've been waiting till the day off from work until I can actually get this bad boy reviewed. So, there you go. The Rafe, uh, Axial Rafe, this is the one that I went for. Uh, it's actually bigger than the, the, the uh, Dingo and the SX10, uh, SCX10, sorry. It's a lot bigger, which is still not massive, but it's bigger than the other, the, the other scales. And I actually like the colour scheme and, I, you know, there's lots of hop-ups you can do on this and stuff, so let's... Without further ado, try and get it out of the box. Lose that over there. Cool. Nice. Nice box. Sad is I know everybody who knows about RC, they love un unboxing and showing the boxes and stuff, and I'm no different. I love it. So what we've got? We've got a Jeep Wrangler Wraith Rock Racer, full turbine, full tube frame, BF Goodrich tyres, uh, protective transmission cover. Uh, ah, the reason why I did like this as well is because this is actually a brushless version, so run two cell, and it's actually waterproof. Not many of Wraiths, or not many of the Axials are waterproof, so that was one reason why I went with this one as well. And because everybody who goes off off road and crawling they always go through water. It's inevitable. You want to go through water. Uh, and with the kit form, I could have added my own. Where have we? Boom, 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 boom. I have a Castle SCT uh, Sidewinder, which I may well fit onto it or not. Or I might just leave this and then put it in one of my SCTs. So. But hey ho, we'll see how it performs on two cell. Okay. Uh, what else has it got? Yeah, the Axel BF is developed in a partnership with Castle. So it is actually in conjunction with Castle Creations, the AE2 ESC. So it's a 20 turn motor. Tear up the train. Actually, it's is it brushless or is it not brushless? Well, that's, I don't know. It's compatible with a two cell lipo, I presume. This is what I mean. I'm sorry, forgive me for this because I know nothing about Axial, as I said earlier. Uh, so I'm, I'm learning as we're unboxing. So, enough chitty chat, let's go through the... What is that open? So that's that side. Down this side. Down that side. 
so I don't know which way up this is going to come out. Let's turn it, feels like it should be this way. Nice! Uh, okay, quick. Booklet, normal malarkey in there. A few spares, this and the other. Spare steering wheels are first for me. Uh, steering wheels and servo horns and plastic bits and pieces. Uh, now, something which you guys who've watched my YouTube channel, you know I'm a bit of a, wow, that looks, that's actually quite nice. Actually know that I hate Traxxas TQ1's controllers, they're horrible, uh, but this actually feels really nice in your hand. Really feels good. And a rubber, rubber mounted uh, wheel as well. Normal uh, things on the side, steering trims, throttle trims, that malarkey, that's it. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get this out of here first. So, it's always good to have a sharp knife. Now that is a fantastic looking little buggy. I must admit, as I said, the uh, the Traxxas Summit was fantastic, but it was actually too big. Now this is more, let's get this off here. If I can. They really didn't want this to move in the packaging, that's for sure. Okay, lose that. Now I'm hoping this is going to stop my stand up so we can get a better look. Is there something holding that down or is that as it should be? Okay, guys, so there you have it. Look, absolutely stunning. Absent, and I love, I love the detail inside of the cockpit i am going to put a little driver in there uh, but there you have the axial pivot uh, this is how you're able to get so much nice uh, crawling effect with it uh, i have actually bought all of the aluminium parts for this so it will be completely hopped up with the alloy uh, whether that makes any difference i don't know or whether it's just purely aesthetics so as i can see yeah it's got nice shocks on there they seem really loose but i suppose that they have to be loose for uh for crawling it's actually got the battery position at the back which uh i don't know i might change it to the front there is a kit which you actually put in the front and you can actually place the battery so that it goes in the front and then the you actually cut across here so that the bonnet actually flips up like so so who knows i think first things first i'm going to get to get to run and play with this this little buggy uh see how it goes in complete standard uh i didn't buy it to throw lots of money at it i just wanted to be able to have a nice little crawler that i can drive anywhere back of the car go out go play go do some rock crawling go on the beach whatever and it not take up any space really in the car so hence that's why i went with axial and I do believe it is, looks absolutely gorgeous. It is a great looking bit of kit. Uh, completely standard form, but I just love that. Absolutely love it. Something different for my collection. So, okay guys, as I said, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this one. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, is do a review of when I'm actually running it and do a nice little film. Uh, and then you guys can uh, ask me any questions about it or tell me some information about it because I don't know anything about it at the moment. I've done a tiny bit of rock crawling this and the other but nothing to write home about. Uh, so then I'll review it as I'm running it and then I'll see whether it's worth putting any upgrades into it or whether it's purely you put the upgrades to make it a shelf queen or a, or a proper basher. So okay guys well as always subscribe, ask me any questions or press the like button and Look out for when I'm actually running this uh, little uh, Poison Spider edition Wraith. And then, you know, you're as, you're as good as I am. Uh, I don't know anything about it, so we shall see. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, guys, till next time. Take care. Cheers. Bye.